Hello, Mr. Robs here. And Mr. Co. Um, and we are going to solve this equation by substitution. When we look at this, there's no nice variables here that have just like a plain x or a plain y. So we have to consider which one would be easiest to solve for. Now if I look at all four of these variables, this one looks like it'd be easiest to solve for. So what, how should we solve for x there, Mr. Cole? What should we do? Okay. Um, well, we could divide everything in that, that equation by negative 2. So then it would be x minus 3y is equal to minus 3. Okay. And then to get x on its own, we'd add 3y's to both sides. So I get minus 3 plus 3y. Okay. okay. So, so then now, what am I going to do? All right. So now we've got an expression for x. We could just substitute the expression into the second equation. So we've got negative 7 and then times our expression for x. Okay, good. Um, I need to write out the rest of that line. Okay, so now we've got an equation of just one variable, um, and that can be solved. So expand the brackets. Negative 7 times negative 3 is 21. And then this is negative 21y. Add 8y equals negative 5. Simplify the right, the left hand side, sorry. So we get what? Minus 13 y. Subtract. Still got it, still got negative 5 on that side. Oh, sorry, thank you. Minus 5. Yep. Yeah. Subtract over the 21 gives me a negative 26. 26. And divide by negative 13, and we get positive 2. Now, there's y. What do I do with x, or to find x? Okay, so we need to put this y equals 2 back into either one of those first equations. And we, we'll do the first one, because the numbers are nicer. 2 and 6 are nicer to use than 7 and 8. So, negative 2x plus 6, substitute in our y, which is times 2. 2, yep. And then equals 6. So negative 2x plus 12 is 6. Yep, so negative 2x equals negative 6, because we take away 12. And, and then x, x equals, equals 3. 3. And so we know our coordinate is xy is equal to 3, comma, 2. Perfect. That is substitution. 